Hey guys, this is Charlotte, and you're watching Going In Raw. What's up, it's your girl Sasha Banks, Legit Fox, and you are watching Going In Raw. You like that? What's up? This is the most must see WWE superstar of all time and his lovely, gorgeous wife, Marie. <laughs> and you are going in SmackDown Live. This is the glorious one, Bobby Roode, and you're watching Going In Raw. All right, so the thing is, right here, we've got. Monday right here. Here again with me. Here you go. Monday right here. We got Raw. Right. But then right now we have SmackDown Live on two. Right now we have SmackDown on Tuesdays. But then we're going to have SmackDown is then going to Fridays. Right here we have NXT. Right oh, here. Also, we also have 205. We've also got Impact here. Because now that with all that money, they're going to be able to buy Impact. So that's going to be must watch TV. No good. Not happening. All right. But then on Saturday, when are we going to do our... Oh, hey, everybody. How you doing? Well, Steve hold here. on. We'll have to do them. We'll have to come to the office on Saturday. Oh, we're not coming. not coming to the office on Saturday. You're crazy. Anyways, how you doing? Welcome to Going In Raw. Hi, everybody. I'm trying to figure all this out, man. My God, Larson. We still have a year and a half to worry about. This thing, this new thing we'll talk about in detail in a little bit. Won't become a thing until October of 2019. So we got plenty of time. To work it all out. If Zach you, Stolpa, yeah. uh, super chat here, two dollars. Yes, egg white delight was a delight. Removed the cheese, offered to Steve. He said no. He didn't <laughs> want my cheese. Well, okay. Here's the thing. I didn't take a bite off it yet. I just took the cheese off. If you had done this, and here's the thing, I've, I've known you long enough. I don't, I'm sure you're clean. But when you're just, it looked like the cheese. Number one, looks like skin. Like uh -huh. you hold it up, and you're like, you want some cheese? Was it Swiss? Probably. Um, but like if you would open it up and said, here, would you like to remove this from my sandwich? I probably would have part. I might have taken it. What if I'd laid it in my hand flat? Hmm. Because I don't really want somebody else's skin touching cheese that I'm about to eat. Yeah, I mean that's the same true. That's why I pulled the cheese off. Didn't have you do it. Yeah, I know. I I know. I know. There, then your sandwich is ruined if my dirty hands mm -hmm. are hurting. So I get it. It's the same thing. If you if I if you had done this here and then you offer me like a fork that you know no, is how about clean. This? Next time what I'll do is I'll. I don't know if we have uh, utensils back there, but I'll get a paper towel. Yeah, okay, yeah. Fold it up a little bit, remove cheese, paper towel, and then I can just put it right yeah. in the paper towel and it's ready to eat. There you go. We'll uh, King Smiley, $2, whiteboard is real. real. Chris Kaufman asks here in the chat, who's more over, whiteboard or Hilton? Oh, it's whiteboard. Yeah. Are you kidding me? People clamor for whiteboard. Well, we also know that whiteboard is, in fact, real. Nobody really Same wants... Same can't be said for Hilton. Nobody really wants Hilton here, man. Anyways, how was your weekend? Well, I mean, I spent part of it with you. You should know. <laughs> it was busy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that was great. It was so relaxing. Me and Lacey were just hanging out, drinking beers, didn't have to chase anybody. <laughs> it was great. It was fantastic. Yeah. You do great. Thank you, you. You do great work. Thank you. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So let's talk about this SmackDown on Fridays business. Huh? Yeah. There's huge news. I woke up this morning and there's literally no wrestling news of consequence. There's like little news stories that are interesting here or there, but like no major lead story. We got a story this morning about more exciting TV contract talk. And I said, yes, we have our lead story for the day because who doesn't like talking about TV deals? So broken this morning by ESPN's Darren Ravel. It appears that SmackDown Live is, is on its way to Fox come October 2019 hey in what Darren Ravel described as a, quote, massive offer. The Hollywood Reporter would uh, later give some potential terms for the new pact. Yeah, even, even the term massive offer doesn't do the offer justice. It's pretty massive, stating that... Obscene. It's huge. It's a lot of money. I'll, let's get to it. Stating that, quote, Fox will be the anticipated home of WWE SmackDown Live in a massive five-year deal worth $1 billion. All right, can we illustrate $1 billion on this whiteboard? Yeah, sure. Give me the, give me the pen. All right, how many zeros is a billion well, here, dollars, Larson? Let's, let's start with one dollar. Okay, there's one dollar right $1. there. And so we'll do a comma, and that's a thousand dollars. There you go. All right, right there you go. Your mic was covering it. And then, so you got to add <laughs> three more zeros, and that's a million. That's a, oh, that's not, we're not at a billion yet. Another comma, three more zeros, oh that's a billion dollars. Can you so divided by five years equals about 200 million dollars per year did you just make 200 billion dollars 
No, that's 200 million. Oh, yeah, it's 200 million. Okay. Man. And that's for SmackDown Live TV alone. That's so much money. It's a lot of money. That's a stupid amount of money. It's it's funny because, like, I find it funny that we're going to make so much money. Um, that rhymes. Because we've kind of noticed in the past that WWE's profit margin feels a bit thinner than we would have when we first started talking yeah, about yeah, this kind yeah, of stuff yeah. when we started you know regurgitating the quarterly earnings reports yeah we don't do that anymore but anyways yeah i know what you mean it was uh like annually it seemed like they were around 800 or the last year i think 800 million dollars in revenue mm -hmm. but in terms of profit it was like 40 million yeah 30 40 million around yeah, there which yeah which is like i mean i understand this expensive to run 300 plus shows during the course of the year sure but yeah, you'd think a, a business of that size and magnitude would run a higher profit margin than what it did. Anyways, let's get back to more. There's some more interesting details here in this Hollywood Reporter uh, oh, report. Hold on a second. Before what? we continue, I have to mention this. Naheem Quattlebaum, $5 Super Chat. I just got my I Find It Funny shirt. Scored me a date via compliment. That's mind-blowing. Wow. I, and I was sitting there on my computer whipping up the I Find It Funny shirt. And then not several months later... Naheem here is about to experience love <laughs> or at least companionship on a yes. first date. Yes. That's What's Naheem going to do on his first date? Watch wrestling? Hey, here, let's get to this. Okay, Let me talk sorry. more about Naheem. I was going to get through the right. story and then we could take. What, what do you hold on a second? Naheem. What is Naheem. it? What is it? I want to know what, what it was about that shirt. Now you're curious. Like, what was the detail? Yeah. What was it? What 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 got you? I'm really. You don't have to give us another super chat. I'll, no, 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 no. Just curious. I'll monitor Anyways, we'll, chat. We'll, we'll we'll wait for his response. I'll get to these details. I'm monitor chat. But I'm curious man. what it, what it was about the shirt. I mean, it's a handsome looking shirt. It's a good looking shirt. You did a good job on it. It's a super niche joke, though. It's a super exactly joke. exactly. Yeah. That's what I, that's why I like, know. Did you say, wow, what? That's a cool looking shirt. And then he was like, I find it funny that you're like, wow, you like Triple H too? Yeah. Like, is that what's, what's going on? I know. Um, more from the Hollywood Reporter. Quote, the new deal, which is nearing completion, is worth $205 million annually. Expect to begin October 2019. will mark a three-fold increase over what Un NBC Universal is currently paying WB to air SmackDown on its USA network. So Naheem says the shovels actually and skull. Oh, okay. So is she like a fan of shovels and skulls? Maybe it's just the design of it was pleasing to the eye. Heck yeah, it is. Didn't realize it was that pleasing though. Um, the talking. Hollywood Reporter continues, quote, WWE said to have had an even higher bid from a third party. I know. Whoa. An enthusiastic interest overall, but WWE executives are said to have to have embraced Fox's commitment to heavily promote SmackDown across a robust sports portfolio that includes the NFL and Major League Baseball. So they had a higher offer. She liked the logo design, thought it was a metal shirt. Okay, that's enough, that's enough for that. Thank you, Naheem. Good Thank luck you, Naheem. To you. Yes. Good luck to you, sir. Uh, yeah, good luck. Have fun on your first date Yeah, with this, uh, this lady. <laughs> with this nice lady. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, this, that's a lot of money. Speculate now, Larson. Who did they turn down? It was Facebook. Probably had to have been Facebook, and they were like, "What are you stupid? We're not going to put our show." I know Facebook is that type. We well, want fifty thousand people to watch this live. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We can't even monetize on Facebook yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So yeah, we're, we have we have a year and, and change, a year and a couple months to figure out um, how we're going to handle. How do you think we're going to handle that? It's going to go by so quick. We have so a year quick. and a half. We have a year and a half. You say that now, and then it's going to go by so quick, and we're not going to have a plan in place. Well, I mean, we have two options. Either we come in for a couple of hours on Saturday, or mm -hmm. or we mm -hmm. just do it on Monday. Yeah, I'll probably just end up doing it on just Monday. Just do it on Monday, and we'll just shift some things around. It's fine. It's not a huge we'll deal. We'll figure it out. I, here's, okay, so here's there are all sorts of questions about this. Mainly, mainly um, they're, because they're going to have so much more money, you would think they're going to put... A lot of that money back into the company. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for, for first off, there's Triple H's uh, globalized localization, yes. global localization yes. thing that he did, where he talked about expanding into a ton of different territories that the WWE really doesn't have, like you know, permanent uh, uh, fixtures in, which is around the world, um, opening up like performance centers in, in various you know international locations, and so <clears throat> I would think that. You know, this would obviously mean more content that they could then produce for the WWE Network, making that even more of a of a you know 
a go-to location for wrestling fans, they could start snatching up promote. How much do you think New Japan is worth? I have no idea. Neither do I. They could totally snap up, and well, snatch I mean, up New they Japan have now. The money to buy it, but I don't, I don't. I have a hard time believing that it's for sale. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be for sale. But now, if you want to talk about Impact or something like that, maybe. Although it doesn't really seem like they have a need for Impact. No. I, mean, I guess if they wanted to add the, their library to to the WWE Network, and they want they want the the Nashville territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, man. I mean, there's all. Oh, Any they number still of shooting things in Orlando, they don't do. they? Are they still shooting in Orlando? They're, all over, they're all over the place. Okay. They, they're still over the place. I know, like, the corporate headquarters are in Canada. Yeah. But I can't remember if they were move tapings there or... I don't... I'm not sure if they have a centralized location for tapings anymore. All right, all right. I honestly don't know. Um, so, I don't know. I, I think there's, there's a ton of stuff they could do with that money. And, you know, if they were happy... <laughs> If they were okay with a profit margin of forty million dollars a year, which is still pretty healthy. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, that, I mean that's after everybody gets paid. So Vince gets his pay, everybody gets paid. So. Oh yeah, no profit, you know, yeah, profit yeah, yeah. for the company. Yeah. Well, um, one of their other financial things, I think Meltzer reported on, they were talking about cash on hand versus debt too, and and that's. I mean, I'm surprised the amount of debt they were holding still. Oh, interesting. So hmm. yeah, but uh, I don't know. I mean, they you know, there's never going to be a problem for them snatching up talent. You know, oh, no. it's, it's never going to be a thing. It's just a matter of, of how they can utilize that talent when they have so much of it. Yeah. Yeah. We got a couple more super chats here. Uh, Jason Jimerson. He says, happy birthday to Kota Ibushi and Jason Jimerson. Happy birthday to both. Happy birthday to both of you guys. Gustavo Gama, $2. He just says, you know, go home, Gus, go home. Just you're drunk again. Emmanuel Murillo or Murillo. He says, all I get is dirty looks from my classic logo shirt because it says going in raw. Well, evidently, you're you're not I mean, rocking it's, it's, the right shirt, we're just, man. We're just a shirt about pro wrestling. I don't know. Well, the the term going in raw is also, it's it's a sexual term for condomless sex. I guess I wasn't aware. Wow, you did not know that. No, I did. <laughs> That's why Charlotte said, That's it. you know, it still cracks me up. She's the only person who said... That is a terrible name for a show. Who said that? Charlotte. Oh, yeah. So that sounds terrible. I had to explain to her. It was a friggin' J. It was Dan's joke. I know. We should rename the show, man. We can't at this point. It's way too late. It's way too late to do way that. Way too late. Anyways. So that's cool, man. What do you guys think uh, they're going to do with that? So SmackDown on Friday nights. Yeah, the, the rap reported today that uh, with the new deal, SmackDown is expected to shift to Fridays mm. while on Fox. And they made a point of emphasizing this is Fox broadcast not fox sports one not booty fox sports not one. fx not any of their other uh, channels in the overall fox family of networks this is fox broadcast have you thought about or have you looked up uh what do what are what do they air on fridays now fox what's going on now i don't know meanwhile alto votale is five dollars should i buy tickets for metallica or foo fighters i'd say metallica well would, depends i it, would go with foo fighters they're gonna be playing like new stuff probably well i don't know metallica probably does greatest hits these days huh? yeah i think yeah. a lot of it depends how many times you've seen either of them i would think foo fight i would go with foo fighters before i went to metallica really i'm not a, you know like foo fighters their first album is pretty good and the second album is terrible i'm not into either band i'm just saying i like dave grohl he seems cool and i'll never forget freaking metallica Talking to Congress about Napster or whatever they were doing. What is going on there? Well, at least this Friday. Apparently, there's nothing on Fox. Cool. Right on. Well, That's they strange. need programming then. No wonder yeah, they bought SmackDown. like it. Uh, $5 from King Schmiley says, Going in Raw Wolfpack. I think that's the Discord group. Yeah. Uh, says, is going over the friend uh, There's some sort of feud going in there. Apparently. Gustavo Gama, $2. It's my birthday tomorrow. You know what I want. How about a, a good happy birthday? Yes, yeah, happy birthday. A too. hearty happy birthday. A happy birthday to you. So nothing happens on Hold Fox. on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting to it. I'm going to TV Guide. See what they have on in prime time. I got this giant ad for hamburgers here blocking the schedule. Phenoms at 8 o'clock. What is, what is Phenoms? I don't what know. What is that? That's how you hide the ad? Oh, my gosh. Ah. There's phenoms at, from 8 to 10. That's it. That's the only thing they have on Friday nights. Or this Friday. Oh, man. It's a big old. It's just a... Oh, this is a, a five-part series chronicling the lives of rising world soccer stars. Yeah, it was a... It's well, about that could be interesting. So that's on Friday nights right now. Uh, Mike Demopoulos in chat says, probably Gordon Ramsay yelling at children. Yeah, I. you know, Fox, they run a lot of that kind of stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So um, this does actually beg the question, though. Uh, does that raise – this has to raise – SmackDown's profile in terms of WWE's programming strategy. I would hope so. I mean, it's the lone show they offer that's going to be on broadcast television, so it should have the widest reach. You would think, yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, I'm not, I know Friday night for ratings isn't typically great, but that's also where they put genre stuff Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, not everybody's like Naheem and has a date to go out with on Friday. Uh, And so, you know, I don't know. That's a good place, I guess, for wrestling to put it. Yeah, I'm not huge on it to be honest with you, but that's just because you know I, I, I like having I like having like the the week, the bulk of the week, the meat of the week to get my wrestling watching done. Yeah, then Friday it's kind of decompression night. I can kind of do like it's if I want to watch Dateline on Friday and learn about a new murder in a small town. Mm-hmm. If I want to watch Impact, I can. If I want to check out the latest Why progress, do you want to do that. Why do you want to watch I, Impact? What is your? That is so rude. We're a wrestling podcast. You need to free your mind, man. And the rest will follow. I'm gonna start doing impact reviews again, Larson. Fine. Are you are you all in on no. that? No. I thought I had you there, man. Well, when Pentagon was champ, I was interested, and then they decided not to keep going with that, and now I'm not interested anymore. Joe, you like Austin Aries, though. Joe R. Yeah, he's fine. With all this new money, what are the chances of WWE signing up at least half the wrestlers from All In? It would depend if those half the wrestlers from All In want to go WWE. I mean, at a certain point, I worry, too, that if WWE keeps signing everybody, that, that there's going to be a contingent of wrestlers, whether they be in the Indies or in New Japan or Ring of Honor, they're going to say, why would I sign with WWE and never be on TV? Well, it depends on how they use all those wrestlers. Exactly. But I mean, it gets to the point where like Adam Cole's on TV once every three weeks, a year or two from now. And then, you know, whereas if you sign with New Japan, you know, you're going to be on every card. I think the Indies will just start to be there. They'll start to be flooded with... Uh... I don't know. Former WB talent as they get released to bring yeah. up new people from NXT. Yeah. It's entirely possible. I mean, look at, you know, who do we say on, you know, on Raw right now that could be released and there isn't. I mean, I think it would, I don't know. It would just be, there'd be a lot, there'd be less like pure jobbers, you know, mm-hmm. like groups like, um, okay, so they haven't done this, but they're kind of teased it one time. Ty Dillinger and R-Truth. They're not going to be around for very much longer if they have so much great talent to sign. True. Dolph Ziggler. I mean, I know they pay him a bunch of money and everything, and they like him because he knows the system. Yeah. But at a certain point, Dolph Ziggler, he's just been around too long, yeah, he and he's be, been treading water. Be expendable at a certain point. So they're just going to start. But, you know, at a certain point, yeah, there's just like the pressure is just it's too great. Yeah. You know? Half Demon 43, $2. Fridays are a bad night to watch TV. I'm never home. Yeah. Um, Tuxedo T Servo, $5. Cowherd just said on the radio, SmackDown on Tuesdays. Obviously, things can change. Well, that's true. It would be I the mean, f- first you know. time Colin Cowherd said something that was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but also, with all that money, you know, like I said, they could start. And and this this definitely might. There, right there. Water all over myself. This might affect people you know, choosing whether or not to sign with the WWE. Well, number one, if they're making that much money, if they're saying, Hey, WWE, you know, WWE, WWE comes in and says, Hey, you know, Will Ospreay, we'll triple what you're making right now. Mm-hmm. You know, do you think, do you think he's going to care if he goes to two or five line? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know either. I'm just saying you can't say no. You can't say he's, you know, yeah, you, yeah. You, you can't say that. Well, there's the other issue too is like when, you know, when all these, these other, and I saw, I think it was Dave Shielding talking about this on Twitter before we got started. Um, uh, other sports, they sign massive TV deals, and based on the nature of their collective bargaining agreement, some of that money goes to the players. Mm-hmm, yeah, is this going to happen too? Like, are we going to see people getting bumps in pay based on this influx of money? I, I'll put it this way: right now, if the you know, so what we understand right now, the top guys in in New Japan, they get paid pretty decent money. Yeah. Um, I think you'll probably see the lower end guys in WWE that will start to to rise in order to ensure that, hey, if I want this talent out there, we're going to damn well get this talent. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I could see them. I could see them pulling some stuff like that. Yeah, I'd hope so. I mean, it makes them fairly dangerous, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> like in terms of compared to the rest of the world, the rest of the indie ranks and, you know, the non WWE product out there. Uh, Robbie, 1896. uh Two euros twenty nine was part of a euro called just two twenty nine euro. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Will SmackDown Live still be two hours? Is that reported? Um, haven't heard anything definitive either way. 
I don't um, know. But then again, you know, all these reports are just reports. There's nothing, nothing has been officially announced. Mm-hmm, yeah. So. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, the thing that I like it, if we start doing our Monday, uh, our, our SmackDown recaps on Mondays, mm-hmm. it gives me like the whole weekend to watch it. So that's kind of cool. I know. Unless there's a pay-per-view. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is going to be very interesting over the next couple of years to see how the WWE chooses to uh, put that money either back into their own product or, you know, there's so my thing is that there's so much good talent out there in the non WWE world. I know. I don't think it's going to be like a danger of oh my god, you know the indie ranks are suddenly going to dry up or anything. No, because WWE they'll just get to. I think WWE will get to pick and choose whoever they want because they'll be able to offer such ridiculous money. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case. So if they want Okada, they'll probably be able to get Okada. You know, well, depending if Okada wants to go there. Well, of course it's going to be dependent on if he wants to go there. But if you put enough zeros on a paycheck. You know, chances are he's going to be like, okay, well, sure, I like money. I'd like to be able to work for two years. And if I want to never work again, you know, everybody's got their price, man. Uh, So let's see here. Anyways, let's move on to another story, Steve. Okay. Cash, is he hurt again? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. But anyway, we'll talk about it, though. Big Cass was selling the effects of Daniel Bryan's beatdown all week. During the WWE's tour of Europe, selling a knee injury in both Amsterdam and Munich. WWE's Twitter even posted a video of Cass being helped to the back following his match in Munich. So, is he really hurt? Probably not. Is he being punished? Probably not. This is all storyline um, from the Wrestling Observer regarding reports of a Cass knee injury on yesterday's show in Amsterdam, Holland. Cass has been selling a knee injury coming off the SmackDown angle on Tuesday. However... Page posted the following this morning, Monday morning, quote, due to uh, Cass's injury, Daniel Bryan will face Jeff Hardy tomorrow. I mean, she used all their tags, but I'm not going to read their tags, um, their handles. <laughs> she says, due to Big Cass's injury, Daniel Bryan will face Jeff Hardy, Hardy Brand tomorrow, tomorrow night, night on SD Hashtags Live. Hashtags SD Live in a second chance match. The winner will face at Samoa Joe <laughs> next week for an opportunity to qualify and enter the men's hashtag MITB ladder match. Here's what's going to happen. Daniel Bryan's going to be Jeff Hardy on SmackDown. Yeah. Cass is going to come out, interfere in the match. Samoa Joe's going to win. Mm-hmm. That's what's going to happen. So we get Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. At Money in the Bank again, yes. Well, that sucks. Nobody wants to see that, man. Not really, but, you know, I, I appreciate the fact that they're not giving us Daniel Bryan versus The Miz right away. They're trying to build up to it a little bit. Well, yeah, sure. And I appreciate that they're trying to build up Big Cass. And this is a cool way to do it, like, you know, using social media. He's actually selling, you know, an injury. It's the that's inverse of what he said he did to Daniel Bryan, which caused Daniel Bryan to lose his match, at least in Cass's mind, to Rusev. Mm-hmm. That the effects of the beatdown he gave Daniel Bryan at Backlash was so much, so severe, that Rusev yeah. picked up the win. Yeah. In a Money in the Bank qualifier. You got to wonder also with all that money coming in, because I'm looking at Big Cass here. Big Cass is a develop is a purely developmental guy. I believe so. He wasn't yeah. doing anything uh, in the world of wrestling. I don't think prior. I know. Yeah, him and Enzo weren't prior to uh, yeah prior to them being signed. Um, I wonder if we'd see less developmental guys coming in. You mean into NXT? Yeah, through the Performance Center. Like, oh, I don't oh, there's know. This, there's this guy. You know, if if there's, I'll put it this way: if somebody made a name for themselves in the UFC or maybe even football, but who really makes a name for themselves in football and then goes to WWE? Um, I could see that. And then there's that, uh, wasn't that that girl that they signed from uh, American Ninja yeah, Warrior? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she had some cool stuff on Twitter the yeah. other day, her bouncing on ropes and stuff. Well, here's a, here's the thing, though, too, is especially, I think the developmental aspect's going to be around for a while, especially if they got this global localization initiatives. You know, there's going to be, even if, you know, talents in, you know, various parts of the, the world, you know, are, are relatively successful mm-hmm. in their regions. Yeah. They're still going to go through WWE developmental to, to learn how WWE uh, conducts uh, television broadcasts. Oh, Lord no, of I know. I'm just talking about, I'm just talking about, they're going to be able to, I wonder if they're going to be pulling even more from the independent ranks and less homegrown guys. No, I don't think so. Um, because if nothing else, they can pay the homegrown guys less. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah, I don't know. Um, God, I don't know. Like, a, like two years from now, we're we gonna see five different WWE Network shows based on all those territories. Could be that'd be kind of interesting mm-hmm. if that's sort of what they're gonna do. Uh, Two dollars from AJK. If SmackDown goes to Friday with the split, does it stave live? Yeah, 
there's no way they're doing a tape show for a billion dollars. Yeah, I that's going to be that. a live live yeah. broadcast. Right. Uh, Chase Hedrick, two dollars. Would being hurt in Cass's relevance? Would actually being hurt? It would. It would. It would definitely uh, hold him back a bit. Yeah, I wouldn't. Like I mean, he it. just came back ago, what, two months ago. Yeah, Not even that month and a half ago. I would think that if that ha- if something like that happens again, they're going to take a super close look and be like, well, back to the back to a tag team with you. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, speaking of going back to NXT. Yeah. Revival? Are they going back to NXT, Larson? No, probably not. They but they did. Up. Not that long ago. Well, a year ago, roughly. Uh, but they did return to NXT last Thursday during a live event in Oklahoma City, interrupting an Undisputed Era promo. And they continued to work um, NXT house shows over the weekend, um, working against Undisputed Era, of course. And they also teamed with Cassius Ono to take on Steve Cutler, Wesley Blake, and Chad oh, Lale. Lale. That's uh, what's Forgotten his Sons. Gunner? Gunner. Yeah. Gunner. So they got they 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 teamed up or they teamed up with Cassisono to get a win over the Forgotten Sons. But meanwhile, because they knew they were taking a loss to Undisputed Era, number one, never interrupt anything the Undisputed Era is doing because it's gold. They were saying I watched it a little bit where they interrupted. Oh, and they were, yeah, no Undisputed good. Era was saying we're the top guys here. We'd be the top guys on SmackDown. We'd be the top guys. Say yeah, yeah. You want Supreme Heel Heat with me? Interrupt the Undisputed Era's Ooh. promo. I'm not huge on that at all. Um, I like. What do you think about this though, guys coming back? Because didn't you say uh, what's his face, Tyler Breeze? Oh, Tyler also Breeze also stuff? made an appearance at NXT Live Event over the weekend too. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about that, guys? I mean, you know, they, they need to be used. And it, I was, I was when I saw it on Twitter, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I wonder what it is. It's because uh, you know WWE's overseas right now, mm-hmm. and some of the talent that didn't go on the trip, they thought, have them do some work. Yeah, it might be all it is. Just have yeah. him go to NXT, do a couple shows. It's a good moment. Excited. It's a good moment too. Um, and I mean, I'm not sure how much this actually would have happened, but you know, who wouldn't want the revival to sit down with Street Profits or uh, Heavy Machinery and uh, impart some knowledge about mm-hmm. tag team mm-hmm. wrestling? Because I still feel like it's pretty weak there in NXT in terms of the tag team division. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, that's cool, man. That's good. Oh, apparently Undisputed Era and the Street Profits fought for the belts last night, too. Ooh, cool. I'm assuming Undisputed Era won. Yeah. I love them. Are they your favorite thing about wrestling right now? They're my favorite thing about WWE right now. What's your favorite thing about wrestling right now? I don't know. It's got to be the Undisputed Era, man. It's up there. Did you watch any of the best of the Super Juniors? Not yet. Can we give an update on the standings? I could find them real quick. I saw a brief little chart which uh, indicated what was happening. Um, uh, I believe Tiger Mask is undefeated after two matches, as is uh, Taiji, Taiji Ishimori, Ishimori yeah. Bone Soldier. He's undefeated. He beat Will Ospreay in the opening uh, night's matches. Um, I saw a couple of clips or a couple of gifs of uh, Ishimori, and uh, he's really good. Yeah. He, do, he does some really cool stuff. See, you know, I know, you know how I had high expectations for him, though? Because hmm. I saw him in Impact. Oh. You should do impact reviews with them. No. So here we go. Let's come in. Hey, let's let's start the coming into the office on Saturdays thing early. No. And it's to just for impact. I'm not coming to the office early. No. For impact, no. No? I'm not doing Ever Smackdown. So either. these are the standings as of the 20th. So that's yesterday. Uh, the leaders of Block A, Ishimori, and Tiger Mask, each with four points. ACH, Yo, and uh, Osprey, and Flip Gordon each have two points. Mm-hmm. Kanemaru and Bushi, zero points. They haven't won a match yet. Uh, El Desperado, Chris Sabin, and uh, Hiromu Takahashi and Dragon Lee all have one one match, so they have two points. Skrull, Kushida, Taguchi, and Sho have yet to win. They win the first match, therefore they have zero points. I think there's another show tomorrow or tonight, one of the two. Osprey's winning that thing. Yeah, I think so too. James Ellsworth is an impact now, man. I that saw does, that. That doesn't move your needle at all. Sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure. What about Moose? Moose. I, I told Moose. I that, like Moose a lot. I told Moose that you don't watch Impact, and he's very disappointed. I in like him. Moose a lot. I texted him, and I said, "Moose, Larson doesn't watch Impact." And he says, "Well, that's very disappointing." Sorry, Moose. Yeah. Not to tell you. Anyways, uh, also one last little bit of news before we get to the raw preview. Um, Tony Storm, uh, her and uh, Jenny Couture 
Main event in progress, chapter 69 last night. Cool. Or last night or two nights ago, something like that. Yeah, pretty recently. And, Over the weekend. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Every, every once in a while on a Saturday, I'll fire up because I got the progress streaming service thing. I'll fire up one of the chapters. And I rarely get through the entire thing because I just don't have time for it. What is happening over there, man? Oh, no. You just got water in your... Bubba is humongous. Yeah, you need to dial it down. No, much, I'll, because I drink a lot of water. You Usually I'm one, one of this these after guys, lunch. Man. Get one of these guys. I don't really want one of those. This holds more. I really, I was going to get you one. I know. But I don't really like my water to be cold. I like it kind of room temperature. Uh, Tony Storm dropped the title. Dropped the Progress uh, Women's Championship. So, of course, this means she's going WWE, right? Well, yeah. Nah. Yeah. It doesn't mean that. It's not set in stone. Don't, you don't think she's going to WWE? Well, she could, but I don't think this is yeah. necessarily... She's already been confirmed. Well, to for be one a, show. Yeah, for a show. For a show. Yeah, she's going to WWE. Well, eventually, yeah. This confirms it I don't right think here. it confirms it. You got to do the math, man. Is she still holding titles in, uh, in stardom? If she drops uh, all those, then then yeah. If she dro- starts dropping all her titles, then yeah, that's yeah, she can just, more or less she confirmation. Can just vacate those. It's not a big deal. She can do both. Anyways, you want to talk about Total Bellas? No, because I don't. I'm never going to talk about John Cena and Nikki Bell again. By the way, I'm kind of bummed out that we actually talked about that. Like that shit was real. That really bums me out. Oh really? Yeah. Kind of pissed about that. So she's right now the current World of Stardom champion. She's also the West Side Extreme Wrestling Women's Champion. So she used to drop those belts. Before. West Side what? West Side Extreme Wrestling. That's co- oh, oh, yeah, in Germany. Germany. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, she'll drop all that. She's going to WWE. We got a raw preview here. No, we no. do. First off, how will Sami Zayn oh, expose Bobby Lashley? He's going to pants him. Ooh. Uh, no, it says here from WWE.com, Sami Zayn revealed this past Monday night that he's reached out to Lashley's sisters via Facebook and that his true story is far different from what we've been told. The outspoken superstar has invited Lashley's sister to Raw in Albany, New York, so he can learn all about the real Bobby Lashley. What exactly does Sami Zayn have planned? As we said last week, this is, only, this is either going to be reasonably entertaining or an absolute train wreck. They're, Nothing in between. I hope they're all super jet-lagged. <clears throat> and just exhausted, so they come out like, oh, here's Bobby's sisters. They come out, and Bobby Lashley comes out. He's all, oh, man. What? What am I, I supposed sleep. to say now? I couldn't sleep on the flight back to the States. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted right now. Next up, will the Big Dong's rampage continue? Chill Roman, will we see another brutal confrontation between Roman Reigns and Jinder Mahal this Monday night? Uh-huh. I mean, I'm assuming yes. Prediction, will gender have rib tape, yay or nay? Oh, yay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You I can't go so. through a fake wall and not have rib tape. He's got to have time. rib tape for at least another three weeks. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I rib injuries that. are nothing to mess around with. That's what I understand. They hurt, man. Which Ross? Oh, my God. Which Ross superstars will join the women's Money in the Bank ladder match? There are two Team Red opportunities remaining. Who will be next to qualify? We'll find out on Raw. So I'm assuming that means two qualifying matches on Raw tonight. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Who do you think? Let's see here. Alexa Bliss is already moving on. Yeah. It's Alexa. It's Ember Moon. Yeah. Oh, that's the, that's it because is there's two it? spots remaining. Well, then said, Becky Lynch, you know. That's on SmackDown, though. Right, yeah. This is for Raw. But the, how many people are in the thing? There's four from Raw, four, four from SmackDown. Four, four, okay. And then Sonya Deville and Naomi are having a match tomorrow mm-hmm. also. So there you go. Uh, how will Raw's male superstars gain money Ooh, momentum? Several weeks remaining until WWE Money at the Bank. All of the competitors in the match will be looking to pull ahead of the pack as the event approaches. Who will stand tallest this week? Who will be the next to challenge Seth Rollins? Superstars are undoubtedly lining up for their chance to unseat Monday Night Rollins. Will the King Slayer's reign come to an end at the hands of a surprise challenger? Not on the Raw tonight going to be Jason Jordan. It will be eventually. I don't know if it's going to happen tonight, though. Nia Jax prepares to face the baddest woman on the planet. The encounter from last week seemed amicable enough, but one has to wonder what's going through the minds of the irresistible force and the baddest woman on the planet as the bout approaches. Okay. Expect some fla- fallout from last week's challenge this Monday night. All right. I hope that Charlotte shows up just to egg them on I some know. more. You know, do it. Do like, it. Yeah, I don't know if I should attack Nia Jax do tonight. It. Do it. Do it. Do it. Anyways, 
Raw sounds fantastic. It can be a spring in everybody's step. Maybe they're like, hey, yeah, everybody's getting bonuses from that SmackDown deal. Not. Anyways. <laughs> Mike Dimopoulos says, the funniest thing about rib tape is that he's cracked his ribs many times and a doctor never once suggested it to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I had bruised ribs, and again, no. And he just said, all right, well, sneezing's going to suck, but you just got to kind of suffer through it, and then it'll be fine. Uh, all right, here we go. We got questions. Awesome. I will monitor chat for questions. Aaron Schmetta. Power rank reasons in kayfabe. Sanity hasn't debuted on SmackDown Live yet. The number one is the easiest because it's a touring show. It's a traveling show, and NXT basically wasn't, with the exception yeah. of takeovers and yeah. maybe like the house show circuit. But, uh, yeah, it's because they, they don't have a car. It's Sanity. Do they hitchhike? They're then? squatters. Uh, I feel like more like walk. Like, they try to hitchhike, but who's going to pick them up? Number one, there's like a lot of them. There's like what? Well, three of them. Three of them now, yeah. You know, that's too on many. main roster, yeah. And they're all, in, in, you know, looking very menacing. Nobody's going to stop their car for that. Nick G, will the SmackDown money make SmackDown the A show, or at least more equal to Raw? So, okay, that is. I mean, that's a good question. That's something I meant to sort of get around. Yeah, I think to. I think you broached the subject without really talking about it much. I would think. It wouldn't just be the money. It would be the reach of SmackDown being on Fox broadcast television. Right, but what does that mean for the... I mean, okay, so at that point, would it be... Because right now, it's out of the realm of possibility for Roman Reigns, maybe Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar to show up on SmackDown. It's just not really... Seth Rollins, I'm going to add to that list, too. Right now, Seth Rollins isn't going to SmackDown. Well, yeah. I mean, the same way AJ Styles isn't going to Raw because yeah. he, you know. But I'm talking about marquee talent. Well, I think guys I think, that I they think, want to headline the marquee well, show. Well, I think now with SmackDown being on Fox, well, in a year and a half from now, that's going to change. There's going to be at least one, change, right? one of those marquee names going over to SmackDown. Has to happen. How much is this deal? Two what? 200 205 a year. 205 a year versus 240. It was rumored for Raw. But then I wonder if the if the length of the show plays into the amount that they're given. I don't know. So I would think so. I, I look at the very least. At the very least, SmackDown would get whenever Raw got a big graphics update. SmackDown would have to get the same. You know oh, what I mean? Like, like the same week, not they'd several have, weeks they, later. They'd have to. They'd have to like give us some present. You know? Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna guss it up a little bit. Yeah. But roster wise, I could see them. I could see them doing that. Maybe you hmm. know, bringing Brock over to SmackDown sometimes, if he's even going to be around anymore. What's up? What do you got over there? Oh, go ahead. Okay. Oh, sorry, we got a super chat. Sorry, uh, Ha Ha Jackson, five dollars. Which main roster wrestler would you like to see battle Jason Voorhees and go over? What? Jason Voorhees, uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Friday the Friday the the yeah okay yeah, and go over. Who would battle Jason Voorhees and go over? Well, if you recall, Friday the Thirteenth, you know Jason used to he used to terrorize traditionally, you know, uh, arrogant, you know, teen high over sexualized teens there at Camp. What was it called? Camp something or another. Camp Crystal Lake. I Camp think. Crystal Lake. Yeah, you know he'd always attack kids when they're having sex, and I think the Undisputed Era versus Jason Voorhees would be perfect. They're they're. With, you know, some women. I know Adam Cole has, you know, Britt Baker. Uh, Rod, Roderick Strong has a family. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure who the other two are, are are linked to. But, you know, they're, you know, having a make-out session, mm. perhaps. And then they all get terrorized by Jason Voorhees. But then they go over. <laughs> but then last shot, boom, you're done. Yeah, yeah. But which last shot? The shoulder breaker <laughs> or the shining wizard? Well, it's Jason Voorhees, so it have to be both. All right. <laughs> so he'd give them two last shots, but it's two different moves. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, Broken Steve. Oh, sorry. I skipped ahead. Uh, Brian Jankowski, 499. Do you think uh, Apollo, Apollo Crews will get a push anytime soon? Thanks, guys. Love the show. I hope so. I really like Apollo Crews. The answer is, do you think it's going to happen? No. Well, not anytime soon. Hopefully eventually, though. See, guys like him that they bungled their call up so bad, they're going to be the ones, I think. Him, Titus O'Neil, guys like that, that sort of serve that position where okay well we need these guys to put other guys over 
I kind of feel like they're going to be the ones who are going to have to be released. Oh, well, maybe. You know? Yeah, and you're, know. we're going to see a shift closer to 50-50 booking, which I think could be really good if creatively speaking well, it works. That's a massive if. That's a big if. Harry Flynn, did you know they showed TNA footage on table for three? Mm-hmm. Yes. They, mm-hmm. Yeah. They struck a, a deal. little deal. Yep. Broken Steve, 199. What superstar is the WWE's version of the Bills? So, of course, the Bills with the Forest Tracer Bulls. Lost them all. God, would you put... I know he won WWE Championship, but at this point, wouldn't it be Roman Reigns? Yeah, maybe. Kind of, huh? Well, right now, I'd kind of say it's uh, Nakamura because he's had like four or five title shots and hasn't won it yet. If he if he doesn't win it by SummerSlam, then he'll definitely be the Bills. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Alto. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, which woman superstar would you like to go on a date with, and what would your date consist of? Well, we're both married, so I'd like, like Lacey would probably be cool with it, because it's like you know, it's like well, it's probably good for your business. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Only Lacey wouldn't care. Um, I mean, honestly, if I could just talk to Charlotte Flair about like her dad. That'd be ideal. Like a good good meal. Mm -hmm. Just talking about, you Mm -hmm. know. And then I'd just Uber home. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Go back to my wife. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then I'd bring the stories here. Yeah. What do you say? Uh, That's the same scenario, but uh, uh, Becky Lynch seems like a really charming person. Yeah. Yeah. She seemed really charming. So just be, yes, just a friendly meal. Yeah. Talking. Yeah. And then back home. And then Uber home. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) But you're not drunk. Why are you Ubering home? No, I might have a beer and a half. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, that's enough to Uber home. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I think I'm, I'm thinking of getting a truck now. Yeah. Why? I might get like a Chevy Colorado. It's like a mid-sized truck. But why do you need a truck? I don't know. It sort of fits me, I think. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. I think you should reconsider that. What do you think I should get? Well, you know what I think you should get. What, a Chevy Volt? Not a Volt, but you should get something that's, that's a little more fuel efficient. Nah. How about this? I'll get the truck. But in exchange for getting the truck, uh, I'll, I'll start recycling at home. I mean, you shouldn't recycle regardless. Yeah, but I don't. But you should. Regardless, I don't. You're not a very good California liberal elitist, Steve, right now, i got to tell you. No, I'm like a little bit Texas and a little bit California. <laughs> it's all that time I spent in Texas, man. I'm telling You've never you. never been to Texas. I mean, Arkansas. Uh, let's see here. Christian. A- oh, Alan, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. my turn. Alan Postle, wait. Wait. You guys' thoughts on why WWE is seemingly anti-factions while New Japan is all in on them? Um, I don't know. I think with New Japan, it's a little easier to tell. Like, because they don't have so many, they barely have, they kind of don't have backstage vignettes the way WWE. WWE is much more literal in the way they tell stories. Yes. Um, I think it probably New Japan's just, a bit more, I'm going to use the word impressionistic. But there's That's literally one. there's literally not people you know on a mic telling you exactly why people are feuding. Yeah, generally it's just it's just all in the spirit of competition. So separating them in factions helps out a little bit. You know, it's like oh, it makes sense why these five guys are taking on these five guys over here because mm-hmm. they they like those big tag matches. Yes, Christian twenty nine D two dollars. What Fox NFL commentators do you want for WWE? Okay, give me some give me some possibilities. Um, Troy Aikman isn't. Uh, Who's Romo? On, yeah, is Romo, Romo on Fox or is he on CBS? I don't oh, remember. that I don't know. Let me find the list. That is one of the most soothing sounds, though, waking up on a Sunday and turning on the TV and just listening to football. Yeah. It's a very soothing thing. Let's see. Who do we have currently? Who's on there? Um, Troy Aikman, Kenny Albert. Oh, Joe Buck. Give me Joe Buck. No. You don't like Joe Buck? No. He's good, man. He's a professional. His show on HBO was garbage. What does that have to do? Oh, Kenny Albert. Yeah. Well. Um, who else? What do you think about the previous uh, new Morrow documentary? Oh, that's going to be interesting. pretty fascinating. Yeah, that's huh? going to be real interesting. Yeah. Well, I didn't know Brady Quinn was doing uh, uh, work for NFL. How about that Tim Tebow putting together some good uh, uh, baseball stats there in oh, the is minors? He still, is he still in single A? Um, W.S. Fletcher, nine ninety nine. Larson, say it, Steve. You mm-hmm. are a Prius man. I'm not a Prius. You know, here's you know. I was actually considering a Prius, but then I read something on Twitter where somebody said, "Man, you know the crappy thing about having a Prius? 
is that every time I pull up to a place, somebody thinks I'm their Uber. I don't want that to happen. All right. So no, I'm not going to get a Prius. It's, too, it's too small. It's actually surprisingly roomy on the inside. I've driven one before. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't appeal to me. You know, there's other hybrids you can consider. Yeah. No. My car is, is, is pretty roomy. Yeah, I don't want your car. I'm not suggesting you get my car. I'm saying there's options. If you want to room your hybrid or yeah. electric, there are options. Yeah, I don't really want one anymore. I want a truck. Chevy Colorado, black. That's what I'm going to get. I don't know why you, you, you don't haul stuff. Like, <laughs> what's the practical reason for you having a truck? No, Zero. It looks cool, man. It's kind of looks cool. Kind of neat. <laughs> All right. I can't. What, what is with that? I can't just do something because I enjoy it. You have to poo poo it every yeah. single time. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it just seems it doesn't seem with your nature, like knowing you. What it, do I drive now? I drive like this massive SUV. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's no different than that, basically. Yeah, I know. It's even it's smaller than that. It's going to leave less of a footprint, a carbon footprint. Yeah, I don't know about leave that. less of one. It will absolutely will. All right. Anyways, Pete Dirksen. Now that you guys are settled into office, are you going to aim to start your shows at scheduled times? We've always aimed to do that. <laughs> That's our goal, sure. I mean, we generally start our, our our recap shows around 11 for the... the our recaps are on usually around 11. For the pre-show. For the patrons. And then this show is usually... Usually it's at noon. Today we start a little bit early. Yeah. So, yeah. Just keep an eye on Twitter, YouTube. We Look, man, we notify when we notify. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, um, Alto, $5. You guys open to the idea of a friendo barbecue in the summer. That might be fun. Go to, like, to a park and reserve some space and have a cookout. That'd be fun. Where? I don't know. Somewhere Where in Sacramento. Where would we do that? we just do it somewhere in Sacramento and people could show up if they'd like. I can make some ribs. How about this? Ooh, ooh, what about this? Can we like, like have a tailgate party All before right. like a show? All that right. I'd prefer to do. Bring one of those little Are tiny. You, I don't know if you can tailgate it, the golden one because there's not like a parking lot right there. Yeah, it'd have to be like. At All In, is there like a parking lot? Sears Center so. parking lot? I would assume so. Can we tailgate there? I can look into it. We're not going to have a whole lot of time before the show, though, because we got the StarCast right beforehand. Yeah, we can leave that early. Um, mm, can we tailgate at StarCast? Can we just bring a barbecue at StarCast? Probably not inside. Come on, but I have a dog. You know. What about a Foreman grill? It's not. Maybe. Yeah, we well, mean, still release steam and smoke, but that's a more reasonable. That doesn't <laughs> taste as good. So you're going to be cook grill meat it's got to be <laughs> over an open fire otherwise it doesn't taste the same yeah man I like the foreman grill you know it's it's on the incline so all the fat drips down which is healthier but man that's where all the flavor is cameron michko if roman goes heel should he see that's a good reason to get a truck better tailgate uh that's the first good re reason why see there you go should he be placed with someone what about just because i want it perhaps Heyman or ellering should Roman be placed with somebody if he goes heel? No, just let him sink or swim based on his own abilities. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> this is a great question. Sean Lindsay, does the SmackDown news make Paige the best general manager since in her first month she has renegotiated a TV network deal for more money than currently? Yes. Yeah. That is a good point. Yeah, she is. They should open up the show tomorrow like with, uh, with her. With Paige counting a fat stack of money. With like her on the phone with Vince and he's congratulating her. Yeah. Good job. Or Daniel or what's his face? Shane O'Mac. Yeah, I think I think Paige is, has jumped to the top of the power rankings for yeah. best general manager. And she's given us Daniel Bryan versus yep. Jeff Hardy. Yep. Uh, Ducari Sanchez. Will SmackDown still be PG? I would imagine so yeah. because of advertisement money. Um, uh, Laubi, what's more likely to happen? Steve watching Nakamura versus Kota Ibushi. Yeah, you're never watching that. Or saying that Hilton isn't real. Well, I've never said, I mean, I can't confirm if he is or is not real. I mean, I text him on a regular basis. I tweet at him. Um, however, if 80% of people says like a thing is, is, you know, factual. And 80% of people say that Hilton's not real. I have to pay attention to that. I'm not saying he's not real. I'm saying there's a lot of answers that need to be, a lot of questions that need to be answered. What are you looking at over mm -hmm. there? Nothing. 
Hmm. I don't know about that. Uh... Tars Rage, $5. Long time watcher, listener, first time super chatter. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Will Adam Cole ever main event mania? And who would be your dream opponent for him? It's That's so difficult to tell. That's so difficult. I mean, there's so much talent. See. I mean, I'd like to see it happen because I think he's great. Yeah. Adam Cole versus Roman Reigns. Adam Cole versus AJ Styles. It all depends on who gets hot at the right time, yep. you know? Okay, so who, let's see here. Uh, this year it was uh, what Roman Brock, right? That yeah. experiment. Well, it's from... Roman versus insert name here for main eventing mania. Yeah, of late. pretty much. I mean, next year they say that it could be the women's match. Mm-hmm. Um, <coughs> and if it's say something like Daniel Bryan versus either Styles or Nakamura for a WWE title, that would be an instant contender for. You know, that's never going to be the main event. It's never going to be the main event. They're going to bring Brock back for the main event next year, Ugh. or in like thirty six or whatever. Ugh. It's it's all gonna be dumb, dude. It's all gonna be or they're gonna be like Goldberg back or I don't know, whatever. It's always gonna be that gimmicky crap. Uh, maybe I, I hope I'm wrong. I'm no, I'm I think wrong. I think I think it would have to be for the Universal or WWE title for that to be the case. I think as we saw last time Lesnar was on a mania card not competing for a title, it wasn't the main event. Yeah. He was Dean Ambrose. Yeah. And yeah, the yeah. match was garbage, but at least it wasn't the main event. Did he main event? No. <clears throat> No, it was Roman Taker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess what was supposed to be Undertaker's retirement match, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I would never say never, but like you said, there's so much talent. It's really difficult. Like, I don't know if Finn Balor will ever. I think Finn Balor has a better chance of main eventing than Adam Cole does. Yeah, I don't know if Finn Balor's ever going to be able to do it, though. Who has a better chance of main eventing? Finn Balor or Nakamura? I would say right now Nakamura because there's that Daniel Bryan Nakamura dream match that we all want to see. And if Nakamura gets that belt from AJ and carries it, heal Nakamura through the majority of the year leading into Mania and Daniel Bryan wins the Rumble. Things also change once SmackDown goes to oh, network. Yeah. That'll that'll definitely change. That's a year things. and a half. Now, yeah, that'll be kind of interesting. What title at that point would they can be would they consider the A title? Maybe the WWE title. Maybe. And then Brock Lesnar can go to SmackDown and, and carry that belt for a year yeah. and a half. Got any more questions over there? Of course. Always. Uh, let's see here. Huh. NPNY716. What should WWE do about their tag team division since apparently they're losing interest in it? Like not lose interest in it. Yeah. Start, There's a lot of really good tag teams start there. Start making it more interesting. Yeah. I don't. It is kind of interesting though because you know you could take a look at take a look at what they're doing with NXT as uh, as a sample of how they view the stars of the future and the tag team division there is the weakest thing about it. When you well, can, right now, but it's, at other points, it's been pretty darn strong. <clears throat> it's DIY and revival and authors of pain. Yeah, and that wasn't that long ago. They just have yet to really fully rebuild from. The last couple of rounds of call-ups. Quantity-wise, they have. Quality-wise, they've got like well, two that's teams. I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah. They've got Undisputed Air and they've got a TM61. Mm-hmm. And not a lot. Of well, they got uh, Oni Lurkin and Danny Birch. They're trying to build into something. They're all in the same group as Street Profits and Heavy Machinery. And Oh, they have War Machine. Now. Yeah. War Machine. Good. War Raiders. I don't like that name. You don't? No. No, I don't either. Should be War Machine. Uh, let's see here. Joshua, the Dynamic Knight Martinez. Friendo Pizza and Virtual Pro Wrestling Party in Chicago. I'd love to do something like that, like separate from Starcade even. Yeah. Like a get-together. Yeah. I know. Somebody... Maybe, I'm just throwing this out there. This is not confirmed, but like Sunday, because the convention ends early on Sunday. What time is the convention? I think 3. Okay. So we can break down, and then maybe, I don't know, Sunday at like 7 or 8. That'd be cool. Because our flight doesn't leave too early on Monday morning. Okay. Cool. If we can find a place to, to, to host us. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Have Absolutely. some pizza. That'd be cool. Play some, have a Minoru Suzuki open challenge. Mm-hmm. That could be fun. Oh, yeah. That could be a lot of fun. That could be cool. Uh, Broken Steve, $2. Oh, that's an interesting question. What will happen to 205 Live? It's, of course, shot live after SmackDown every Tuesday. Is that going to move to Fridays now, too? I would have to think, dude. I would have to think that... 
Do you think this is going to lead to a bit of an overhaul in terms of how they do things? Maybe. Because then you have the money to make 205 Live it's something really special. Yeah. Something really special. Yeah. Like, who wants a show where people are just sitting on their hands the whole time? Nobody wants that. I'm looking to Kevin Nash there for a second. And it's not a... <laughs> who wants to see a show where people sitting on their hands the whole time? Who wants to see a time? show? It's hard not to slip into Scott Hall. Um, look at Daniel Bryan's face. <laughs> <laughs> anyway is that it for show yeah that can be it for show all right that's it for show everybody thanks so much for tuning in thanks to all the super chats out there yes thank you we appreciate it yes very much uh, hilton can we please get some music hilton hey wake up man oh there he is okay thanks dude appreciate it sorry 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 that i yell at you all the time you do yell at them all the time i know anyways Good job today. You do good work. Thank you. We're going to go live a little bit later on Twitch for some We Book Raw, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's see if I, how mad I get this time. All right. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye.